Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, I am going to show you how to create a node programmatically and draw nodes using a drawing tool. You will also see how to update and remove nodes and create different node shapes. First, I open an existing Blazor application, where I have a Blazor diagram component with height and width properties. If you want to know how to create this Blazor WebAssembly app and add Syncfusion Blazor components to it, follow the link in the card above. I run this application to show the initial output. The diagram canvas has been rendered. Now, I am going to show you how to create a node programmatically. I define an instance for the diagram object collection class of type nodes with the name node collection. Next, I am going to create a node and add it to this node collection object. To add the node, I override the uninitialized method. And create a new node with the name node. I define the property ID with the value node 1. Then, to set the position of the node, I define the offset X and offset Y properties and set their values to 250. I set the height and width to 150 pixels. Finally, I add this node to the node collection. Then, I assign this node collection to the diagram using the node's property. You can see a node is created in the defined position and dimension. Next, I would like to customize the node by applying a background color. So, I define the style attribute and set the fill property with an appropriate value. Look here, the node is created with the defined background color. You can also set different styles to the node by setting the stroke color and stroke width properties. Now, let me show you how to create a node when a button is clicked. I am going to use Syncfusion Blazor button component. So, I import the Syncfusion Blazor button's namespace. and add the button component by defining the SF button tag. With the button content, add node. As I said before, I want to create a node when a button is clicked, so I add the event, onClick, with the event handler, add node. I define the add node event handler. And within it, I add the same code used to create a node previously. I change the ID and offset values of the second node appropriately. When I click the button, see here, a second node is added to the diagram canvas. Next, I will show you how to set annotations to the node. I define the annotations by defining the diagram object collection class of type shape annotation and setting the content to new annotation. To learn how to set annotations from the data source list, refer to the video in the card above. Looking at the node now, it is rendered with the content, new annotation. 
Next, let's see how to draw a node using a drawing tool on the diagram canvas. I am going to activate the drawing tool with a button click. I used the same button for this purpose, but let me change the button content to draw a node. To activate the drawing tool, I need to use the interaction controller. To access the interaction controller property, I create an instance for the diagram component inside the code section and add a reference to the component using the at ref property. Inside that add node event handler, I comment out the existing code. I define the interaction controller and set the interaction to once as I choose to draw only one node. You can also select the continuous draw option to draw more than one node at a time. Then, I need to specify the type of shape that can be drawn with the drawing tool. In this example, I am going to draw a basic rectangle node. I define the drawing object and create a new node with a rectangle shape. Now, I click the button to activate the drawing tool and create a node here by drawing. You can also add nodes to the diagram canvas from the symbol palette. Refer to the video in the card above to see how to do this. Okay, so far you have seen how to add a new node. Now I will show you how to update and remove a node from the diagram canvas. First, I will update the node by changing its background color and stroke color. For that purpose, I add one more button to the page and set the content as Edit Node. I add a click event with the event handler Edit Node. I define the event handler edit node. I call the method begin update first. Then I update the fill property to red. And the stroke color to yellow. Then, I call the endUpdate method. When I click the Edit Node button, the node's fill color and stroke color are updated. You can update any property of the node in the same way. To remove the node from the canvas, within the Edit Node event handler, I call the Remove method. You can see the node is removed when I click on the Edit Node button. OK, let's move on to the next topic, the different node shapes. The Syncfusion Blazor diagram component supports seven types of node shapes. They are text, image, path, basic, flow, SVG, and HTML templates. First, I will show you how to create a text shape node. Inside the oninitialized method, I comment out the annotation and modify the existing shape with text shape by setting the type to text. And content to text node. I can also customize the text node styles using the style property. Here I modify the style property and set the text alignment to the left.
The new text node was created with the defined styles. Now, let's create an image shape node. Inside the uninitialized method, I modified the existing text node to image shape and set the type to image. Then, I need to define the path of the image and set the source property with the appropriate image path. The image node has been created now. Similarly, you can create an image node by setting base64 encoded data to the source property. If you want to create a node with HTML elements, you can use an HTML template shape node. To demonstrate, I am going to make a simple layout that displays a person's profile picture, name, and designation, and create it as a node using the HTML template shape node. First, I add the diagram templates tag and then define the node template tag. Within it, I add the HTML elements that depict the simple layout with CSS classes. I define those classes in the style tag and set the appropriate CSS styles like margin top, margin left, and padding. Then, inside the uninitialized method, I modify the shape type to HTML. And comment out the other properties. You can see the HTML template shape node created with the simple layout we wanted. You can create an SVG template shape similarly by adding SVG elements inside the diagram templates tag. If you would like to create a node with desired geometric values, that is, without any specific standard figures like height or width, you can use the path shape node type. In this type, the node can be of any type. For this example, I am going to create a node with a butterfly. First, I create a node of type, path, and set the type as path. Then I define the data property and set the appropriate value. I also add style to the path by setting the fill property to orange. You can see a butterfly shape node created here. Next, you will see about basic shapes and flow shapes. The Sync Fusion diagram component supports 12 basic shapes and 21 flow shapes. Refer to the video linked in the card above to see how to create basic shape and a flow shape nodes. In this video, we have seen how to create a node in the code behind and draw a node using the drawing tool. We have also seen how to update and remove nodes from the diagram canvas. Lastly, we have seen the different node shapes. If you would like to see the working example, you can download it from the GitHub link in the description below. I have also provided a link where you can see if you qualify for a free license key to use our Blazor products through our community license. If you found this video useful, do like it and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.